Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Broken Sword 2, and when last we left off, George has figured out where he needs to go if he's going to find that stone. Zombie Island, or at least that's where Ketch's treasure is, which is very likely to contain the stone. Rio was a little bit nervous about going to Zombie Island, admittedly only when he actually got to Zombie Island, mainly because there's a chance that there's going to be something terrible there, but chance is roughly 95% considering the fact that the place is called Zombie Island. Meanwhile, Nico has managed to find an, an abandoned underground station, and there was a uh, underground train that we completely weren't able to catch, mainly because this is abandoned, and that area isn't abandoned. Let's start having a look around, shall we? Starting with the way we came. It was the stairs leading back up to the museum. Ah, we're still in the museum. Let's uh, see if we can leave. There was no point in going back up there. Fair enough. There's a lot of things that we can look at, though. Starting with these posters. The poster was advertising a play I'd never heard of. Probably because it's a very old poster. The date on the poster was before I was born. As I thought. It was an old map of the London Underground. I bet there are a lot less stations on that one compared to a current map. It looked just like the modern one. Never mind, I'm mistaken. And there goes another train. I can understand you being startled, considering the fact that uh, you were very close that time to it. It was a maintenance cupboard. And I bet it's locked. A latch lock stopped me getting into the cupboard. We're going to have to find a way to open that. There's also this here. It was the tunnel the train had come out of. Can we have a look down the tunnel? This is a really bad idea. It was too dangerous to start walking along the tracks. I remembered what always happened to Wiley Coyote when he did that. Or when Wiley Coyote did anything. He never really had that much luck, nor did he ever catch the Roadrunner. Admittedly, if he caught the Roadrunner, it would kind of defeat the whole point of the cartoon. The train signal light still worked. Let's have a look at it. After that train has gone by. A warning sign saying high voltage convinced me to leave the lights alone. Smart thinking. Let's go over here and have a look at the things in this direction. Come this way, Nico, and we shall have a look at this machine that will dispense chocolate. We quite want some chocolate. And there's also a way down there, and a lot of wood. A pile of old railway sleepers was blocking the platform. Fair enough, can we move them? I'd probably break my neck if I climbed over the sleepers. Or worse, a heel. Let's keep looking around, shall we? There's a poster here. It was a poster advertising holidays in Scotland. How old is that poster? It might have been a nice souvenir if it hadn't been torn and dirty. That's a shame. It was an old ticket machine. A sign read, Tickets 3D. Well, that's not going to help us. You're very unlikely to have that denomination of currency lying around. The machine looked like it had sold its last ticket a long time ago. Or maybe it hasn't. Let's look at this machine. It seems oddly out of place compared to everything else. Or maybe that's me just, uh, presuming that this is a new machine that dispenses chocolate. It was an old chocolate vending machine. No, it's an old chocolate vending machine. Anything in the vending machine that we can grab? The machine needed to be fed a coin before it would operate. Ah, we don't have a coin. It was a cup which caught rejected coins. Or maybe we do. The cup was empty. Ah, we're not going to uh, get anything that way. But there is this up here. One D only was embossed below the coin slot. Something protruded slightly from the slot. Ah, maybe there's a coin in there. The slot was much too thin for my fingers. But is it too thin for your hair clip? Maybe we'll use this. I 
I pushed the hair clip into the slot and whatever was stuck there disappeared into the machine. I bet it's going to be a coin. There was a copper coin in the cup. Time to take it. I pulled out an old English penny. We're rich beyond our wildest dreams. After that train has uh, gone by, we'll have a look at that coin. There we go. It was an old English penny coin. On one side was Britannia, managing to look both virginal and matronly. On the other was the head of King George VI, looking much the same. What we need to do, clearly, is put this back in here. We want some very old chocolate. An ancient bar of chocolate dropped into the tray at the bottom of the machine. And as a special bonus, the penny dropped through to the reject pocket. Excellent! We get both the chocolate and our money back. What a deal! I pulled out an old English penny. And now we will grab the chocolate. A flap covered the tray into which the machine dispensed chocolate bars. This is not likely to be very tasty chocolate. I took the ancient bar of chocolate. Now let's have a look at the ancient bar of chocolate. It was a very old bar of chocolate with a row of boys pictured on the wrapper. Let's uh, have a look around then. Clearly we haven't found anything that we can do over there. Oh, hello! That is someone that I've seen before. That was Khan. Khan from the first Broken Sword game. Very briefly, Khan appeared. And now Khan is gone. I'd probably break my neck if I climbed over the sleepers. Or worse. A heel. There's nothing we can do over here. Khan was very briefly there. And is back. Let's have a look, shall we? We can't go too close, it would seem. Can we, uh, aha, we can look now. The ghost didn't seem threatening in any way. Fair enough. Let's have a conversation. Hello. The ghost obviously didn't want to talk. Perhaps it was shy. Maybe we need to offer something up to the ghost. Also, Nico doesn't seem to be reacting that much to the fact that a ghost is actually here. This clearly must be a common occurrence for Nico. Is the ghost back? We just need to look over here a little bit more. The ghost is back. What could we offer the ghost? There's not really much we can offer the ghost. Maybe we can offer the ghost the chocolate that we've got? Can ghosts get hungry? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Would you like this? The ghost obviously didn't want to talk. Hmm. Curious. So we're not going to be able to do anything there. Can we go over here and go down this way? Aha! We can go down this way now! I wonder what's down here? I had the feeling something weird awaited me if I went that way. Well, obviously we need to go and check something out if it's going to be peculiar. Off we go! Who the hell are you? Joey, is that you? Oh, I remember you now. Hey, listen. Don't go near that hole. Nobody tells Robert Foster what to do, lady. You don't understand. I've played this game before. There's something horrible in that hole. Some beast with tentacles. You're nuts. They don't make animations like that anymore. Well, I did not know that was going to happen. Oh boy, was that a surprise. Robert Foster from Beneath a Steel Sky. A game made by the same people, but I really, really enjoy. I should play that game again at some point. Clearly, however, that was not the solution to progress. We're going to have to figure out what to do here. We haven't had a look at this machine yet. Let's have a look at this. 
L B S Lubes. What are lubes? Lubes are pounds. That is a weighing machine. The machine wasn't about to weigh me for nothing. Ah, then maybe we need to use the coin on this. I put the old penny into the slot. The needle twitched rustily and the machine spat out a card. What does the card say? We'll find out after this train goes by. A lot of trains are going by. That does make sense considering the London Underground. The weight was in Imperial units. It meant nothing to me. The card also had my fortune on it. A family quarrel will turn out to your advantage. Fair enough. We definitely want this open. I've no idea why we want it open, but I feel like the only thing we can really do concerns that, especially considering the fact that we no longer have that coin. Maybe we can use the dagger to jimmy this open? It's an idea. The blade of the dagger just fitted between the door and the soft wood frame. The door gave slightly, and then held firm. We're going to need something else, and I bet we can't open the door now that it's even a little bit open. A latch lock stopped me getting into the cupboard. Maybe we need to use the card. Do the old card in the lock trick. It's worth a go. The only thing that could happen if it fails is that we lose the card and then we can't progress anymore. But so far the game's been pretty good in not putting me in an unwinnable situation. And uh, no. Hmm, we can't do anything with that. Ah, there's a separate thing here. There's that and then there's that. A small crack had appeared where the dagger had pried the door from its frame. Through the crack, I could just make out the latch which stopped the door from opening. That is some very fine uh, positioning of the mouse that you need to figure out that there are two separate things that you can look at. That's not really that good. I prefer it if uh, the ability to look at the door itself disappeared after you'd opened the door a little and just combined the two descriptions. That would have been better. Either way, let's try and use the uh, card, not here, but here. I remembered my student days, when I regularly forgot my house keys. A wiggle with the thick card between the frame and the lock, and the latch lifted. Now there is a big obvious red button here. It was a big, red, ever so tempting button. We obviously have to press this button. I think I know what it might do. It looks like an emergency stop button. Let's see if it does that. Ah. The train was my ride out of there. I could worry about not having a ticket when I got to the docks. Off you go! Meanwhile, back in the Caribbean. And then Emily just appears out of nowhere. What you doing, Jaws? And then George just goes back down, goes back to Rio and goes, Forget the treasure, I'm going home. We're all the way up here. And this looks like a very deep jungle. The path led off into the forest. We're probably going to get lost here. The path led off towards the center of the island. We're going to save, because if there's anything I know about things like this, this is going to be a big maze and I'm probably going to get very, very lost. And I'd rather not get very, very lost. Let's see if I can find anything here. Is there anything over- ooh, there's something over here? We could go this way as well. And over here is a grand total of practically nothing. Fair enough, ignoring that, we're going to go this way first. Why not, eh? 
Let's just uh, have a look around and see what we can find. Yep, this is a big, deep forest slash jungle, and we're going to get very lost in it, I wager. It was a stagnant swamp. And we probably can't go through it. Nothing, I mean nothing, would possess me to step into that swamp. Nothing at all? Can we use an item to get over it? Probably not. No, we can't. So we can go this way, or any other way we could go? Let's go that way, I imagine? We're just going to get hopelessly lost here. Off we go! And that brings us to here. And we haven't really found anywhere that we can go here. So let's just uh, head back, shall we? Which returns us to here. And George is very lost right now. We go this way. Ah, there's that way and there's that way. Let's go this way, shall we? Oh, we're back here. Why don't we go this way first and see if this way will make any difference? I imagine it won't. I'm getting some awfully familiar vibes about a cave that's very dark and some fire berries. Oh, this is a really deep forest. We're going to get very lost here, I wager. Anything over here of any importance? There's a tree? Is that it? There's mushrooms as well? Ah! Oh dear. The path was blocked by an ugly and extremely dangerous looking boar. That's... Not good. I'm going to save because this looks like a place where we may die horribly. I'd rather not die horribly. Can we offer the boar anything? We have nothing we could offer the boar. Let's step forward a bit. You're going to step back. Can we get the boar to charge us? The boar's expression said, forget it, Stobart. We're not going to be making any headway this way. And we can't grab onto anything here. We can't use the net on the boar, I imagine. We'll try. No, that didn't work. That might work, though. If we're presuming that the boar is going to be like a bull, and we can lure it over with something that's red, we'll try this. This is not going to work. Nope, that's not even an option. What if we combine this and that? That was no good. Fair enough. Can we combine this and that? I don't think so. Fair enough. There's nothing that we can do here. We can use the net on the boar, but we can't use the net anywhere else. That boar is totally going to charge us at some point. That grin just says, hey, I totally have control of this, and we're not going to be able to do anything as long as this boar is here. It's a very small boar, but you can't underestimate a boar, even a small one. Is there anything over here that we can use, or... No. No, there is not. Maybe we're on the wrong side of this area. Perhaps there's another way out that will, uh, allow us to get to the other side, and then the boar will charge us from that way. To be fair, I don't want that to happen. We'll probably die horribly. There's going to be a lot of dying horribly if my uh, imagination, even if half the things in it are correct. Let's go back this way, shall we? 
there's clearly something that we're missing over here. Clearly a route through the, uh, the more dense part of this area that I haven't seen. Let's give it a try, shall we? There's got to be a way that we can get to the other side of the boar. There is a path behind it, and I don't want to, uh, think that the only way that we can get to that area is to go and, uh, head all the way past the boar. There must be a way this way. What the? Steady, guy. It's just a monkey. Can we go this way? Let's see if we can. We can go that way. Okay, we can go this way, which means that we can go this way. Aha! We could head in this direction. And when we come back, folks, we're going to continue exploring around in this thick foliage. And inevitably, we are going to get all manner of lost. It's inevitable that we're going to get lost. But at least we have our lucky net. I don't know why it's lucky. It's probably about as lucky as the coal is lucky. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. The music abruptly stopped there. It was like, music, music, nothing. Clearly, this is a foreboding situation that we're in. Either that, or the music just literally had that length, and it was meant to cut off abruptly. But either way, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.